Joe with the big one. What a clash this one should be. <laughs> Dave Fitzfinley from Perry Fergus near Belfast, along with, of course, his mentor, Paula, Princess Paula. A tremendous weight advantage. Two stone plus over his opponent here this afternoon. In the shape of Johnny Saints. Johnny Saints, here he comes, front leg pull. Just 11 stone two. And he will give Dave Finley something to think about, even though he's giving away two stone. Already a slight argument between Paula and uh, Dave Finley's op opponent, of course, as usual. John Harris. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we now come to a special catchweight challenge match. The match is made over eight rounds of three minutes each and will be decided by the best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or the one knockout. I introduce to you, coming from the red corner over here on my left, presented of course by the beautiful Princess Paula. And also from the red corner, Dave Fit Finlay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again I seem to have made a mistake of not telling you that we have the British heavy middleweight champion, Dave Finlay. And now, from the blue corner, I don't think I need to say more than just two words. Johnny Sainz! Yes, John Harris, that's all you need to say. And your referee for this contest, Mr. Bob Collins. Johnny Sainz. Any grapple fan all over the country and most of all over the world knows this man on the left, Johnny Sainz. The question is whether he can give away two stone to his opponent here today, Dave Fett Finley. The man who just, has just said <laughs> that he intends to eat him for breakfast. Well, I think Johnny might have something to say about that. Bob Collins takes charge of this one. Bob Collins from Kentish Town. Second leg, round one. And here we finally go for round one of eight three-minute rounds, two falls to the side in this catchweight special. Saints with his tremendous speed and agility surely is going to worry this heavier man in Belfast. Finley with the first attack, side headlock. Come on then, Sim. Close your seat, man. They are getting longer every time we see them. with his great final near arm lever just a couple of minutes left in this first round don't forget that the uh, rounds are only three minutes in this case <laughs> that's the sort of thing that Finley's got to contend with even when he's sure of something he's no longer sure of it
instructions from Paula. Under a minute to go in this first round of eight. Generally with a torn ankle now, fairly firmly fixed in the double wrist lock position. Three to four leg lock, but Johnny Sage decided he didn't want one. <laughs> so he's out the other side of the leg lock. Thirty seconds to go. Double finger in the lock. Naturally, Finley's going to have the advantage here. It's the most powerful of the two. More powerful of the two. Lovely fall and grip. Just five seconds. He's going to have a little problem here, no doubt. He's already having it. There's Finley's corner. And even Paula is trying to persuade the referee that he's something about it. He's got to go almost now. Second way, round two. Round two. Finley says, stay back. I don't know what Finley's complaining about. Something about the boots, I think. Johnny Saints wrestling boots, maybe. There's no, there's no loose, there's no loose lace on the thing, anything wrong at all, as far as we can see from here. the old favorite of Finley's chicken wing and he's trying to close those hands. Admittedly, if he does close them, then Johnny Saint will probably be unable to resist his submission. But will he close them? Saint is so quick. Saint agreed to the finger lock. Finger lock in his left hand. I'm surprised at that. Yes. Left foot caught him. In the Good Mark Nelson throw. And the finger's going straight back under the canvas. Oh. And uh, needs a little attention. Whatever Finley can dish out, he's going to get it back from Sabre, all right? Just one minute to go, round two. Staying back a bit now, isn't he? Finley in charge. Okay, 30 seconds to go. I'm interested to see whether Saint gets out of this. And he doesn't know where it may come from. He just knows it's going to come. There it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful stuff. Shades of George Kidd there. Right on the bell. The knees came up just after the bell. He apologized. 
And of course, Finley's going to make something of it. Paula will certainly make something of it. Johnny said it was halfway through the move when the bell went. We've got to go again almost now. So often happens that a wrestler is halfway through a move when the bell goes, and there's a cruise of delivering it after the bell. Even suddenly telling Paula to get out of the ring now. Apologized about three times already. He was halfway through the move and he couldn't stop. Well, punch right to the stomach. We all saw it. You all saw it at home. But referee only suspicious of it. Taken. Can he get him all the way? Not quite. And this punch to the head there. Johnson taking punches all over the place now. And he gets a public warning for that one now. Bob Collins explained that he knows perfectly well what for, but I'll tell you this in case you forgot. Punch to the head and to the stomach. That was a legal uppercut. Great fingers, maybe. Still the referee suspicious of that. Certainly wasn't a chop. A minute to go now in the third. Nice close to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tied that well. Back up. Body check. Now he's taking him all the way. That's his favorite moves. Yeah, yeah, it's all the way back. And he could get the first four here. Yes, nearly yeah, always does. Ladies and gentlemen, it's round three, and the opening fall for this contest to the red corner, Fit Finley. He gets the first fall all right, but he's looking his man a little bit too much before illegally. That's what Johnny Saints been talking about. Get out of here! Second round four. The timekeeper calls for seconds out of the ring, and Paula hasn't gone yet. the ring and we can get on with this fourth round remember that Finley in the tights and Shamrocks in the front row on the left leading Johnny Saint by one fall to nil as we start round four well we should be starting round four allowed to continue. All five of the same moves as Bob Collins. That surprises me.
getting very, very excited about this, but he's not getting his point over. Right? And nice hits. Nice turn. Saints. <laughs> Good follow up. That's a better drop kick though. That's high, but it works. He's gone over the top, Cody Cross, Cross, and it's lovely. Lovely. One minute, 45 seconds into round four. The equalizing call, Johnny Sack. Well, now, that's round four, and it's an equalizer that goes to Johnny Sang. All done by speed, as we'll see now in a minute. Great speed as Johnny came off there. The side they missed completely. Johnny waiting for him to miss. And before he gets to the ropes, he's got that folding press on. Really a great one. Second way, round five. Four rounds to go to get a decider here. One fall each now. One public warning against Dave Finley. Johnny can hardly wait to get on with round five. Nice back roll right off the top. A beautiful drop kick. Left foot landing right on the door now. Beauty. Good. Good drop. Flying tackle, and now from Saint hold it. This is the one he wants. Now, just hasn't got quite got the weight for that cross cross. Not, not unless he grabs his opponent's leg and tries to pull it back to hold the balance. Right. Double wrist lock is on the back hammer. I think. And a punch right to the stomach. Very, very obvious to all of us and to the cameras, but not unfortunately to Bob Collins, who was the other side. Just a minute to go, round five. Top rope portion of a hem, we were landing right on top of our camera three here. She's now shooting. 25 seconds to go, another flying tackle by Johnny Sane, can he hold this down? No, dragged off. Almost on the bell now, round five. Johnny Saint from Failsworth Master is now facing Blackpool. And he's holding an extra round that he didn't expect for. Recording for somebody. Round six. Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of round six, Superman Vic Finley receives his second and final public warning. So that's the Uh, 
it's unlucky finish to Johnny Saint there. It was just a question of how legally it was put on. It was very, very quick indeed. So you're John Harrison. Ladies and gentlemen, that was indeed the winning call of submission. And the match goes to Fit Finley.